Hey everybody, James Jaeger, Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Well, I uh, reserve the right to change my mind when I'm presented with new evidence. <clears throat> so, nearly 15 years ago, I made a video called Bullpup Suck. And they did. Uh, people would show up with the ones like uh, the one Bushmaster used to make. That was total junk. And um, then there's the, what's the one the M14 goes in, Jargonaut, whatever. Junk, 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 junk. I just kept seeing junk, the, the, the FN one. Junk, 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 junk. <clears throat> and I got to this point where I was just like, you know. And the only thing, I would ask the guys bringing bullpups. I would ask them, okay, why a bullpup? The reality was, the reality was, uh, that they just wanted something different than everybody else. So there's always the guy that brings a different gun, you know, and um, that was the reality of it. And then, uh, and then uh, IWI came along, the first, the the first uh, Tavor, and then the other models, and then we started seeing the X95 in classes. And of course, I'm like, ah, bull pups, ah, suck, bull pups suck, bull pups suck, bull pups suck. And uh, uh, they didn't. And uh, so finally, somebody made a bullpup that actually worked. And I would ask, I would ask those guys, why bullpup? And they would always say the same thing: "Oh, a full-length barrel and a short, compact package." Blah blah blah. And I'd say, "Okay, what else?" They never had anything else. They never had anything else. And uh, I'm the one that actually. <laughs> came to the conclusion what was right about a bullpup. Well, after I got, after I found one that worked, um, I started I started not hating bullpups. Guys bring divorce to classes. <clears throat> and uh, Tim, one of my instructors, bought one, like under the radar, didn't tell me. They do that all the time. They, they, if you think you the, the internet spites me, my instructor spite me more than anybody else. And Tim bought one, and I kept seeing it, it, pictures of it in class. I'm like, Tim, what's that? What's that bullpup doing in class? Oh, uh, that was somebody else's or whatever, you know. And uh, um, you know, just kind of joking with him. But uh, and then one day I, I, I realized that, wait a minute, what's right about this? Okay, so after one worked, after one worked. I was like, okay, let me look at this more closely. So forget all the crap you've ever heard about a bullpup. Like, as far as like, oh, it's a full-length barrel and a short compact. Forget all that. Forget all that. Let me tell you what's right about this. The balance. See how it's balanced? Look, look how it's imbalanced. That's what's right about this gun. You see, for, uh, for small-statured people, for women, millennials that don't have any upper body strength, um... <clears throat> The weight of this gun is back here. So instead of having a regular AR-15 that's wilting out in the front because we got the long barrels, we got the rails, we got this stuff out here. Um, instead of it wilting out there, now the weight is back here. My wife now, who is in her 50s, and uh, she's mildly arthritic in her hands, she doesn't like shooting as much as she used to. Yesterday, I took this home, and I said, hey, I know... I know this is heavy, but I want you to, to, to you know, put it up to your shoulder. She went like this. She went, oh, hey, that's nice. Because after she, after she held the rifle up and realized the balance came back and her shoulder carried the gun, not her hand. I mean, like, <laughs> if I could balance it. Like, the weight, the weight being back here is a tremendous advantage for somebody that has small stature. Now, continuing on. Well, think about militaries like this, you know, the, the style of guns in military hands. Well, especially we, we have all shapes and sizes in the military starts making more sense now that one works. And uh, so um, and, and the other bullpup guys are going to jump on here. Well, this other one works and this other one works. No, it doesn't. <laughs> now, listen, I've seen them in my class, and if you think yours is so great, bring it to my class and watch it choke. These actually work really well. Um, so this is part one of a multi-part series, and uh, and I'm gonna and if you come to class, you want to try the bullpup, you want to shoot this bullpup, you know, it'll, if it's if I'm at a rifle class, this should be with me unless something crazy is going on. This should be with me. You can say, hey, yeah, bring that. Did you bring that Tavor? And I'll get it out, and let you shoot it. 
Um, but uh, I am uh, I'm curious. So it comes in. This is the Coyote. Comes in an OD and it comes in black. I don't know what the most popular one is, and uh, it's got these cooling fins here that, that open up to cool the barrel. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's what I thought. What the heck? What is it? These come open automatically. Basically, you push this button and then this slides off to reveal a rail section, and they'll they'll come off as well as the bottom to expose the rail for whatever accessorizing you want to do whatever the case may be a lot of rail going on there yeah um, this thing uh, especially with the uh, 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 looks like an alien <laughs> thing especially with the, the plastic covers off uh, but uh, anyway you can swap the barrel out pretty quick and easy and all that stuff which I would never do I would never never did I go on right no no, no, <laughs> I think this is right. <laughs> I'm like, Mongoloid, get it right, Jaeger. Uh, the internet's yelling at me already. He's an idiot. Arr. You guys are so mean sometimes. Um, <clears throat> you swap the barrel out right here. Take this thing out. I'm not ever doing that, but swap the barrel out. Um, I assume, I have to read the destruction manual. I, su I assume this is Ambi. And I guess it can be made to eject out either side. I'm just assuming that. But, you know, left-handers are mongoloids anyway. Bolt release, bolt hold open right here. Um, kind of a two-handed affair to, to lock the bolt open. But say la vie. I don't use this as a, as, as a bolt release. Glad my thumb wasn't in there. I don't use this as a bolt release. I, I grabbed the handle, but it is, a, it is certainly there. Magazine well here, so the magazine goes boop here. And it's not loaded up because it's not zeroed. It does have a set of built-in sights. Come on. <laughs> okay. It does have a built-in set of uh, auxiliary or backup sights. And I know that looks kind of a weird, like a weird contraption. But when you when you hold it up, it's like, oh, it's perfect. You know, just I know it looks kind of kind of weird to look at. But it, it, it's actually rudimentary but uh, more than more than useful so I'm gonna shoot it I'm gonna let my wife shoot it things like that grandkids shoot it see what goes on but uh, there is something to be said about um, a bullpup that works and um, what I used to worry about was it's got like longer pieces and parts in it and long term but but this gun even before I touch this one this gun has proven to me through any number of students bringing them through class and and as well as Tim's rifle Tim's put that in the hands of many many shooters uh, they, they've done a good job with this there's no doubt about it I'm gonna put a sight on it and uh, I've snatched it off another rifle but I thought it would be a, a good compliment to put this Meprolite on here both being uh, Israeli uh, items so I thought I would put that one on there, and so I'll get it on there. And I need to do another video on this site anyway, the Bluetooth, and you know how, how you can connect it to your Bluetooth on your phone and change the sites and stuff like that. I did that. I didn't do a video. I did that. What I turn it turns out, I like, I like the uh, the sites that are on it the best already, <laughs> you know, on here. Uh, but but I'll get this thing mounted up, get it zeroed, and uh, and we'll go from there. But if you got questions, let me know. If you come to class, you want to shoot these two things. They'll be ready to go, and uh, I think that's all I got from now. So I'd like to thank IWI for sending this out. So uh, full disclosure, they sent this to me, uh, but I was saying good stuff about it before I ever got it, and uh, it should be fun, and I'm looking forward to this. I don't get to do too much unique stuff. I've never owned a bullpup, so this is this is new for me, so this will be fun. It'll be fun, and uh, you're welcome to, to join me on this expedition. James Jacob with Tap Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends. And why it's not dangered up, it's not zeroed. See you guys later.